Good day, grade 11s. Welcome to this final, final lesson on trig functions on grade, for grade 11. We've got one more lesson, but that's going through mixed examples. This lesson is our final lesson where we give you new knowledge. And what are we doing? We're looking at the horizontal shifts of your tan graph. We're looking at how your tan graph shifts, just like we did for the sine and cos. So let's start straight away. We're going to be drawing our basic tan graph again, and we're going to, again, just plop these things into it so again you should I've said this a billion times already you should know how to draw your tan graph it goes 0 through 45 through 45 it has an asymptote at 90 degrees and it has another asymptote at 270 degrees and it has another asymptote at minus 90 degrees and it has another asymptote at minus 270 degrees and then it does something along the lines of that and then it does exactly the same thing over here and then there's a final one over here and then over here we've got exactly the same thing happening and I know this is a slightly trickier one grade 11s um, but I really want you to know how to draw these graphs it's very important so minus 360 is 0 minus 270 is not applicable minus 180 is going to be 0 again minus 90 is not applicable your minus 45 is minus 1 your 0 is 1 45 is 1 90 is not applicable 180 is 0 270 is not applicable and 360 is zero. Now we're going to look at what happens if we move this graph over. Sorry, before we do that, let's talk about the amplitude. What did we say? Remember the amplitude is not applicable because it doesn't actually end anywhere. Your range is from minus infinity to infinity with little parentheses and your period is 180 degrees. 180 degrees. I know it stretches from minus 90 to 90 but from a minus 90 to 90 that is 180 degrees so that is the period of your tan graph. Now let's change the color and we'll change it to red and let's look at what happens when we go tan of theta minus 90. So let's pop that in the calculator as always. So we've got tan of bracket minus 360 minus 90, close bracket equals, and there's a math error. So now this here is your asymptote. Okay, so this is your new asymptote. So we're really getting a bit suspicious about this thing moving. Okay, let's pop in the next one. We're going to go exit and we're going to clear it and we're going to go tan of bracket negative 270 minus 90 grade 11s. Please feel free to do this on your calculators as we go as well. That's zero. And remember that it has to be, your calculator has to be in degrees. So we're going to go tan of bracket minus 180 80 minus 90 close bracket equals and there is another asymptote not applicable so now our asymptotes are over here so they've been shifted definitely shifted we just don't know which way they shifted there's a zero okay let's go to minus 90 so again exit clear Go tan of bracket minus 90 minus 90 close bracket equals a zero. Now this should probably help us see what's going on. Let's look at minus 45. So we're going to go tan of bracket minus 45 minus 90 close bracket equals 1. So this now is 1. Then we've got tan of bracket 0 minus let me fix that shall we 0 minus 90 close bracket equals asymptote so this is an asymptote now we've got 45 
So tan of bracket 45 minus 90 close bracket is minus 1, minus 1. Tan of bracket 90 minus 90 bracket equals 0, 0. Then we've got tan of bracket 180 minus 90 close bracket is an asymptote. Tan of bracket 270 minus 90 is going to give us 0. And finally, tan of bracket 360 minus 90 bracket is going to give us another math error. So that's not applicable. So let's just fill this in. So we've got not applicable, which is an asymptote, 0, an asymptote, then at minus 90 we're at 0. At minus 41 we're now at 1. At 0 we have an asymptote. Okay. At 45 we're now at minus 1. At 45, sorry, we're at minus 1. At 90 we're at 0. And at 180 we're at our next asymptote. So do you see that this graph is going to be going like this? I apologize for the skew graph. This graph is going to be going like that. This graph is going to be going like this. And finally, you've got an asymptote over here. So if we had to look at this, do you see that where we would normally be, we would normally be at 0, we're now at 90. Where we're normally at 90, we're now at 180. So we've definitely shifted 90 and we've shifted to the right. So we've shifted this graph, we've shifted the graph to the right by how much? By 90 degrees, by that amount there in the 90. The amplitude is still not applicable, the range is still from minus infinity to infinity and the period is now also still 180 degrees. So the only thing that's happened when we add this in is we've now gone theta minus 90 and it has shifted it to the right. Let's look at another example. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, with the basic color, draw in our basic tan graph just so that you can see the difference when we actually start filling in the numbers. So again, grade 11s, I know I repeat myself, but unfortunately it seems that teachers are doomed to repeat themselves ad nauseum. You need to be able to draw this graph without any hassle at all. Okay, and I'm not talking about artistically draw it, I mean as no that these are the points it goes through, know that it goes up towards asymptote, curves, changes direction, changes its curve, and you need to know that it ends at 360. You need to know where the asymptotes are so that you don't draw through them. Because the cool thing about the tan graph is your asymptotes are really the kind of pointers to see what's going on with this graph. Okay, so your amplitude again is not applicable, your range is still from minus infinity to infinity, and your period is still 180 degrees. Now let's see what happens when we go tan of theta plus 6 again. I'm just going to change my color. Let's change it to a really random color, tan of theta plus 60. So let's pop in our calculator. So we're going to exit and we're going to go tan of bracket and you'll notice I've chosen interesting numbers here so let's go see what it says we're going to go minus 240 plus 60 gives me 0 so tan at negative 240 gives me 0 tan of bracket minus 180 plus 60 
gives me 1.73, 1.73. Turn a bracket minus 150 plus 60 gives me a math error. So that is my asymptote now. Clear. Tan of bracket minus 90 plus 60 gives me negative 0 0.58, negative 0 0.58. Tan of bracket minus 60 plus 60 is going to give me zero. Tan of bracket 0 plus 60, which is the same as tan of 60, is giving me 1.73. Tan of bracket 30 plus 60, close bracket, is giving me an asymptote. Okay. Tan of bracket 90 plus 60. Oh, I forgot to clear it. Tan of bracket 90 plus 60 gives me negative 0 0.58, negative 0 0.58. Tan of bracket 120 plus, whoops, 120 plus 60, close bracket, gives me zero. Tan of bracket 180 plus 60 gives me 1.73, 1.73. Tan of bracket 210 plus 60 gives me math error, so that's not applicable. And finally, Tan of bracket 240 plus 60 gives me minus 1.73, minus 1.73. So let's have a look at this. So first of all, at minus 240, we have got 0, at minus 240. So this is 180, this is 270, that's 225, so that there is 0. At minus 180, We've got 1.73, so that there is going to be a 1, so 1.73 is over there. At minus 150, so that's 135, now there is 150. At 150, we have an asymptote. So that there is at minus 150. I'm just writing it up here so you can see what I'm doing. At minus 90, I'm at negative 0.58 negative 0.58. So at minus 90, I'm at negative 0.58, which is about over here. At negative 60, I'm at 0. So that is 45, so that's about 60, that's 0. At 0, I'm at 1.73, so that's again about over here. And at 30, at 30, i am now got an asymptote. So what is happening, grade 11s, is you can see that this graph is now doing that. It is doing this. And it's moved over. Okay, let's go have a look over here. So now this asymptote has shifted. And which way it's shifted? Do you see that it has been shifted to the left? It has been shifted. This is now at 30 degrees where it used to be at 90. So it's shifted over to the left by 60 degrees. Where this used to be at 0, it's now at minus 60. So it's shifted over to the left by 60 degrees. Let's just plot the next couple of points just to check. So then at minus 90, we're now at negative 0.58, which is about over here. At 120, we're at 0, so this is 135, that's about 120. At 180, we're at 1.73, which is about over here. And at 210, which is about over here, we're at our thing. So again, our graph 
is doing that. So do you see again that this asymptote has been shifted over to the left? The asymptote has been shifted over to the left. So a positive value, I can't find my pen, there we go. A positive value shifts the graph over to the left by whatever that value is. And again, it has no effect on the amplitude, it has no effect on the range, and it has no effect on the period. Right, so let's just summarize. If we have a positive value, if the P graph is greater than zero, then what are we doing? We are shifting the graph over to the left. Whereas if P is smaller than naught, we are shifting the graph over to the right just as we have spoken about. This dark one is the new one. So we've shifted this graph over to the left, whereas here we've shifted the graph over to the right. Okay, so let's talk about this final standard form of the tan graph. We've got y is equal to a tan k theta plus p plus q. And as I've said in the previous lessons, you don't have to panic. They're only allowed to cho choose change two of these things at one time. So, but let's go through it so you know everything. So, the amplitude is basically affecting only the points that we're used to, which is like you're at 45 degrees, we know that y equals 1. But now if your amplitude is 2, then that number there is increased. So what does it do? The amplitude affects your steepness. So if a is bigger than 1, we have a very steep graph. Whereas a is smaller than 1, then we have a very shallow graph. It's a very shallow graph. Your period we've spoken about before. The period affects how squished up or how stretched the graph is, if you want to think of it that way. So your k, if your k is bigger than 1, what happens to your period? Your period decreases. Whereas if k is smaller than 1, the period increases. A horizontal shift is what we've just been doing in this lesson. So if it's plus p, it moves the graph to the left, where if it's minus p, it moves the graph to the right. And a plus q obviously moves the graph up, and a minus q moves the graph down. And as I've said in the previous lessons, grade levels, you need to not only be able to draw a graph that's been manipulated and changed, you also need to be able to identify what the changes are and work out the, variable, the variables like a, k, p, and q. Right, please go practice, then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.